Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. The Belmont Journal today continues its series on Belmont's small businesses. Today, News Now brings you a conversation with Cushing Square's big picture custom framing. Here's the story. Custom framing is uh, to give more of a, a custom uh, cut for, for any of the uh, pieces, be it uh, diplomas, if not um, paintings, historical items, or uh, uh, even puzzles. Uh, it's been a wide range of items that we tend to, uh, that we are able to frame. Uh, we do have you know, slight limitations here or there, but pretty much we have done quite a bit. And uh, it's, if anything, it's, uh, an appreciative uh, learning experience, uh, as I could say for myself on, on that part, but um, it's something to actually help preserve anything that folks might want to uh, bring in here. Uh, again, be it uh, uh, historic, if not uh, just, just something that uh, folks really want to uh, keep in place uh, and, and present as well. Now, there are many options, so don't, okay. don't, don't, feel, don't feel limited, don't feel rushed, don't okay. feel pressured. Uh, so it's it's a process to help the customer preserve memories and and um, and you know present what they have as well. In that process of preservation of, of memories, uh, be it uh, weddings and such, and well, it's it's quite an endeavor. Um, the preservation, I'd say, matters just as much, if not more, uh, because we do have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of items that. Uh, come through here that people just want to keep from yeah. this point in time, if not items that are from, uh, let's say, 40 years back, if not longer than that. Um, and it's, it's a very important process uh, because you have a lot of pieces that might, uh, over time, go through a lot of corrosive uh, environments, if not uh, anything that, that might uh, diminish their, their, their existence. And uh, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of examples of uh, deterioration with, with a lot of artwork. And uh, you know, a lot of, there have been some that we can't save, uh, but we try our best to try to you know, save them as much as possible. But, um, but that, I, I'd say that would be why I bring up preservation pretty often. In terms of COVID, the stores have, they closed for about two months and uh, yeah, from March until uh, June 8th and uh, uh, reopening, it's, it was actually a gradual process, but uh, I found that, uh, especially within this particular store, um, it's been gradually better and better and, and better. Of course, you would have, you know, some of your slow days here and there, but it's, I can't really say that there's been anything negative. Uh, uh, and yeah. now we do uh, have more of a policy, uh, as many other businesses would have. Uh, we do have more of the uh, appointments uh, that we need, and we uh, definitely make sure to secure that, as well as uh, with the uh, amount of time with the uh, appointments that uh, allows for one to, uh, you know, not not to feel rushed. Not that they should any anyhow, but uh, just to you know, know that they're in a safe spot. That looks great. Yeah, I'm sold. I agree. That would actually <laughs> be very nice. So it's been a change to adapt to, but we follow through, and business itself, I'd say, just gets better and better. Okay.